In our other big story today, the judge hearing the case against Officer Michael Sippel decided Sippel is guilty of assault. Last May, prosecutors say Sippel beat Christopher Pate after mistaking Pate for a wanted man. Kayla Green reports on the outcome of this police brutality trial. Michael Sippel guilty of assault in the third degree. Today's decision in the Michael Sippel trial was shocking to some. The prosecutor on the case says one piece of evidence made all the difference. Body camera footage was the most important piece of evidence in this case. I think everybody can uh, say that after seeing that footage. One person who sees that, Christopher Pate's attorney. What has happened here is extraordinarily rare. It's extremely unusual that an officer is not only charged, but ultimately determined uh, that he's guilty based on the evidence that exists. Sybil's attorney was also shocked in the opposite way. He says this decision could have a chilling effect on how officers do their job. They're going to be less willing to uh, approach people to use force because uh, they're going to be afraid that they're going to get charged criminally. But Fody says for Pate, this is justice. It ended with an outcome um, that that confirms that it wasn't fair what, what took place and, and that he didn't deserve to have a facial fracture, um, that he didn't deserve to have what happened to him take place. Fody says he's filed a notice of claim to move ahead with a civil case now that the criminal trial is over. He says today's decision will have an impact on the possible claims. My analysis related to the civil case is we have a very strong case if, if ultimately we proceed with that. The Rochester Police Locust Club said this today in a statement. We are shocked and disappointed in the decision out of city court today. However, since the internal disciplinary process is still ongoing and there are potential appeals of the criminal charges, we are going to refrain from any further statements on the matter to protect the rights of Officer Sippel. Maureen? All right, Kayla, thank you. Sippel is under suspension from the RPD. He has been since he was arrested. He does face up to a year in jail and will be sentenced in July. The RPD interim police chief said this today in a statement. With respect to the court's decision, the internal departmental proceedings will resume as it had prior to the criminal court case commencing, during which Michael Sippel will remain on suspension from the Rochester Police Department.